Hey guys, welcome to Living Tomorrow Today. My name is Julio and in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about the different water hoses that we have, how we use them, and uh, what we think about them so far. Before we get into our water hoses, I just wanted to tell you that if you are new to the channel, what we're talking about in this channel is our transition from being a normal uh, family that lives in a house to now we are a full-time family traveling across the country. Uh, so uh, if you are new, please consider subscribing. Uh, give us a like if there's anything that you found in this video helpful. And as always, hit that notification bell so that you know as soon as we put out a new video. Okay, so now let's go on to our first water hose first water hose we're going to talk about is our fresh water hose. Um, this is a Camco water hose. It is designed for drinking. Um, not every water hose has that. In fact, some water hoses that you find actually say do not use for drinking. So it's important that you want to find one that you can actually use um, for drinking water. This particular hose is 25 feet long. It's nice that it's long because um, sometimes you may run into a situation where the water spigot is located far from um, your city water connection. So obviously you want to have a long hose, but we found that most of the time there's a lot of excess water hose that we have. So it's obviously better that we have more and don't need it than the opposite, than need more. We do have one extra water hose that came with the RV when we bought it. It's just short, I think it's 12 feet. We have used it once. We could have probably used it right here because you can see how short it is. Um, but this is the one we pulled out and it's the one we use. I will say one thing, like probably most water hoses, this thing kinks a lot before you run any pressure through it. Um, so it's a little bit annoying once you connect it and turn it on, you gotta kind of walk through the water hose and undo all of the kinks, otherwise you're gonna have a stoppage somewhere. But after that, then it works pretty good. The water's flowing through it and there's no issues with the water hose. Um, and as always, as you can see, we, we, have a RV, we have a filter that we use for our fresh water. A recent addition that we've done, this elbow bracket that we bought, um, because this, I didn't like how this connection would would kind of arc out, and I just felt like it added some weird downward pressure onto this connection here, and uh, I was afraid it was over time going to mess it up. So we bought this, and now it seems to work pretty well. It, it hangs straight down, and we don't have to worry so much about it being pulled out. The next water hose that we have is this uh, flexible water hose. And this is our general purpose water hose. Um, it's lightweight and it doesn't take up a lot of space, which was something that we were obviously looking for. And this water hose is used for washing the truck, washing the RV, um, basically anything that it doesn't have to do with drinking water. In fact, this water hose says do not drink water out of it or obviously anything with the black tank. So everything else that we might need a water hose for, this is what we use right here. Uh, this is a 100-foot water hose, and the reason we went with this instead of a 50-foot water hose is because sometimes the water spigot is far away from whatever you are trying to do. For example, if we were trying to wash the truck. Another item I would recommend getting is a splitter for your different water hoses. The reason we got this is because we were constantly having to disconnect our fresh water hose and then connect anything else. And if we disconnect the fresh water hose, then that means that there's no water inside the RV for uh, for the sinks or for the toilets or anything like that. And everybody would have to wait inside the RV until we were done with whatever we were doing outside. So we decided to get a splitter. That way we can, we can uh, run water through both water hoses at the same time or if nobody's doing anything inside the RV, it's just a matter of quickly turning on or off, off the <laughs> water that you're being, that can use. That way we can just quickly either disconnect that water or uh, just leave them both running. So if I needed to use this water hose to wash the truck, I can now wash the truck and anybody inside the RV could either use the restroom, use the sink or whatever they need. And I don't have to constantly disconnect the fresh water and when I'm done I just shut it off and we're 
we're good. Now, one thing you should keep in mind, if you are using water through both water hoses, the you do have the water pressure being split between the two of them. So if you are, for example, washing a vehicle, washing your RV, and somebody needs to do dishes inside or just run water for whatever reason, um, there's gonna be less water pressure on both ends because it's being split. The last water hose I wanna to talk to you about uh, requires gloving up because it is our black tank water hose. This water hose is what we use to flush out our tanks and that is the only thing we use it for. It doesn't do anything else, which is why, uh, why I glove up for it. Because we keep our black tank water hose in the same box where we keep everything related to our black tank, like our sewer hose and the uh, sewer hose carrier. And sometimes it drips in here a little bit. That's the, that's the reason I glove up to touch this water hose and why we only use it for this. And um, we, I didn't do this on purpose. I wish I, I could say I did, but this hose just happens to be black. So that's why we decided to make it our black tank water hose. But if you are out shopping for water hoses, it's probably not a bad idea to buy a black water hose for your black tank. So just kind of a tip right there. Now, um, I do use the black tank water hose on the splitter, but I have a mark on my splitter that lets me know that that's where I connect my black tank water hose. So I can still flush out the tanks over here and leave the water running inside the RV, but I know which side of the splitter to use because I just put a little mark on there and I don't have to worry about ever connecting my fresh water tank, my fresh water hose to that side. And that's really just to be extra safe because if you, if you purchase the Rhino Plus, which I always recommend, and I'll put a link in the description to all of these water hoses, but also the Rhino, or you can get to it from our website. It's probably the third time I've said you should get one of those, but it comes with a one-way valve. That way water does not go into the water hose. It only goes out, um, which is not why I'm not always, I'm not worried about water touching or going back to the spigot, but just to be extra safe and a little cleaner. That's why I always use the same end of the water hose uh, for the black tank hose and, or for general purpose. And I only use the other end of the splitter for our fresh water. So those are the three water hoses we use and the reasons we have three and how we use them and why we use them. Um, hopefully you guys learned something from this. If you have any questions about the water hoses or recommendations, uh, because we love getting those, please add them in the comments below. Um, otherwise, uh, we will see you guys at the next video. Bye.